Hi, welcome to Joe Vision video tutorial for Edge Recording Managers. I'm Derek Ho, who is going to be the trainer for this video. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a quick look of all line here. So what is the goal for this video tutorial? We're going to go more details in the next slide. And we're going to introduce what exactly the Edge Recording Manager is. And we will go over the main features that are only supported by ERM one by one. And for the live demo section, I will show you guys how to do the time sync features for IP cameras with the ERM. And also, we'll show you guys how to set up a NAS folder for IP camera through ERM. And finally, we have a prepare a mostly asked questions for our FAQ section. So, what is the goal for this video tutorial? Is to help you guys understand the main concept of the Edge Recording Manager and also help you guys get more knowledge on how GV IP cameras interact with the NAS devices through ERM. And finally, after this video, you will understand what exactly the relationship between MultiView and ERM is. So, what is Edge Recording Manager? Edge Recording Manager is a software designed for recording management of the remote GV IP cameras and target series cameras. It is an integrated interface you can access for live view, assign IP camera to record to NAS server and playback video, and view the storage space without going to each host's web interface. Okay, let's take a look at the network structure here. Because Azure Recording Manager is an IP-based software, so as long as there is a network environment established, not only GV IP cameras, but also other GV systems like VMS, Multicam, Recording Server, could be connected to Azure Recording Managers for centralized managing purposes. Just make sure the firmware version you're using on either IP cameras or GV system is supported by Azure Recording Manager. And through Azure Recording Manager, you can access for live view, playback video, and assign your GV IP camera to record the video file directly to NAS device. By the way, just make sure that the firmware versions of your GV IP camera supports NAS device setup. The following sections are the minimum PC spec for hardware and software when you install Edge Recording Manager on your PC. Basically, Edge Recording Manager supports various platforms such as Windows-based operating system or OS X, which is uh, operating systems developed by Apple. So, for Windows-based operating system, it supports both the 32-bit and 64-bit. For 32-bit, it supports Windows XP, Vista 7, and Windows 8. For 64-bit, it supports Windows 7 and Windows 8. So, what are the license requirements for Edge Recording Manager? Basically, it is free for the first 32 channels, but what if there is a client looking for more than 32 channels? Are we going to support more than 32 channels in the features? The answer is yes. Supporting more than 32 channels is going to be our first priority for the next version's release. However, at the current stage, no more than 32 channels will be supported. Okay, the next slide is a firmware version compatible chart with the Azure Recording Managers, which is very useful information for you guys. By looking at this chart, you will know what firmware version should I use in order to be supported by Azure Recording Manager. So far, Azure Recording Manager supports a VMS, DVR, MVR, recording server, GV IP cameras, target series cameras, video server, and speedo camera 220. However, there are a few products that are not supported by Azure Recording Managers, which are Compact DVR, Speedo Camera 200, and Cloud Series Camera. As we talked about in the previous slide, Edge Recording Manager supports various platforms such as Windows-based operating system or OS X, which is an operating system for Apple's. Basically, the features these two platforms support are pretty similar. However, there are a few features that are only supported by Windows-based operating system. I can give you guys a few examples here. For Windows Base, it supports DVR, MVR, two-way audios, multiple camera time sync features. On the other hand, for OS X, it only supports one-way audios, no MVR, DVR, and single camera time sync features. By the way, if you want to know what other differences between these two platforms, please go our official website, which is uh, jewelvision.com.tw for more information. So what features does Azure Recording Manager support? It supports up to 36 channel division. 
the reason why we had these features is because the next versions of Azure Recording Managers will support up to 64 channels and 36 channel divisions is going to be one of your selections when you open the live view window. And next feature is as Recording Manager acts as a centralized service to manage or to configure some GB IP camera store setting in NAS. Uh, for example, like a video servers or uh, GB IP cameras. And for the next, for camera, uh, for camera support uh, support to NAS features, the firmware version has to be a 3.0 for um, GB IP camera. And uh, for the target series camera, it has to be uh, 1.02. And uh, through recording, uh, through Edge Recording Manager, you can review and set up the camera storage information, which is very helpful. And lastly, time sync all GB IP devices time to Edge Recording Manager's PC time. This is a feature that is supported by both platforms. For Windows operating system, it is able to select multiple camera to do the time sync features at once. However, for OS X, it is only able to select one single camera to do the time sync features at once. Means that if you're going to do the time sync features for three cameras, you have to do three times. What other feature that at your recording manager support? Uh, it is through the Edge Recording Manager is able to see the live view of camera that are connected to a um, uh, multi-cam, VMS or recording server and it supports on demand which is a dual stream uh, GPU decoding of course and uh, through Edge Recording Manager you can uh, do the PTZ control features and uh, support the two-way audio however this is only supported by Windows based operation system and uh, for OS X it only supports one-way audio and for the remote playback with uh, one channel only. This is the feature for the both operation system. When you do the remote playback, here are a couple things I want to remind you guys, which is when you assign your IP camera to record his video file directly to a NAS device, these following features, the whopping text overlay video effect will be unavailable. However, if you assign your camera to record his video file to either a micro SD card or external hard drive, these features will be available to use. So how do we do remote playback through Azure Recording Manager? I will show you guys how easy to do it. First of all, we go to host list. As you guys can see here, we have a DVR, video server, and IP cameras connected to Azure Recording Manager. In this case, I'm going to select the Speedo Camera 220 and I just right click the camera and there's going to be a selection called remote playback and we'll just go click on it. And after clicking remote playback, a remote playback window will pop up as you guys can see here and I believe you guys are pretty familiar with this interface because this is exactly the same when you do the remote playback through Modicam system. By the way, there's a couple of things I want to remind you guys here. When you do the remote playback through Azure Recording Managers for DVR, you have to make sure the remote view lock service is enabled. And for IP camera, you have to make sure the view lock server is enabled. And I'll show you guys how to enable the IP camera's view lock server. Let's go for IP camera. As you guys can see here, there's a selection called events and alerts. And we go click it on and you will see a selection called view lock. We click it on again and you just enable and click apply. This is how you set when you do the remote playback through Azure recording for IP cameras. So how do we search for the video files when we do the remote playback? Basically the folder name of the video files will be created with the MAC address of the camera. So as you guys can see here all of the folders displayed up here are created with the MAC address of the camera. So as long as you know the MAC address of the camera, it's not going to be hard to find the video files you're looking for. Every time when you open the live view window, there are going to be three different colors displayed on the main screen. So different colors represent different status of the camera. So let's go take a look for the first one. Uh, the first camera with the uh, yellow color means that the camera is not monitoring. And for the second camera with the uh, green color means that the camera is monitoring but not recording. And for the last one, this is a camera uh, with the red color means that the camera is under recording. So once you, uh, you know the definition of each color, you will not get confused. For NAS setup, first of all, we have to find where the NAS setup button is. 
This is the main screen of the Azure Recording Manager. As you can see, uh, on the top of the main screen, there is a little icon here called Batch Update Wizard. And you find it and click it on, and there is a NAS setup selection will be displayed up here. Okay, this is a search result after clicking search host. As you can see here, uh, the camera with the little circle here means that the camera support NAS setup. So uh, if your memory is still fresh, we talked about in the previous slide, um, for camera to support NAS setup, the firmware version has to be 3.0. So let's get the, all the camera here, all the camera with the little circle here, their firmware versions is 3.0. And uh, for those camera without the circle here, the version, for example, uh, for the first one here is a dual vision bullet camera, uh, 1300, his version is a 2.14. So there is a no circle here. So the camera doesn't support NAS setup. Once you're done with the adding the camera to the NAS device, now it's time to think about how to design the storage path of the selected camera. Um, at the undercurrent, uh, undercurrent uh, network environments, we have a NAS device and it has three paths uh, option for us to select. So I'm going to assign the first camera to the path IP camera. So I just assign this camera to the IP camera here and the storage path will show Geo Vision NAS 2008 IP camera. This is going to be the storage path for the first camera. And for the here is a uh, uh, space information for the NAS we, uh, we selected. So once you're done with the setting, so you click the save button, then you're done. It's pretty easy and simple. This is how you set up the NAS. And for live demo section, please refer to live demo video. So I'm going to skip the live demo section here and go into FAQ section directly. Let's move to your FAQ section. Uh, this is one of the uh, questions we have uh, received from our clients. And the question is, will MultiView be replaced by ERN in the future? And the answer is yes, because by using ERM, not only you can configure the GV IP camera storage location in NAS devices, but also it is integrated with other applications, such as VMS, recording server, for remote viewing purposes. And after watching this video tutorial, if you are looking for more information, you can check our official website, which is www.geovision.com.tw, or you can email to our support team which is uh, the address for our support team is supportgeovision.com.tw Okay, I think uh, this, this is pretty much for this uh, video tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm Derek Ho.